Oh, so with a show of hands, how many of you guys have tried red rice? Like three people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well today I'm gonna show you guys how to make my mom's red rice. Basically, I know Mexicans have done it, but the way we do it differently, I don't know if you guys add meat to it, like any meat. Okay, that's a difference, I guess. <laughs> so first I'll show you the ingredients you'll need, and then I'll show you the different or the steps to making it and the different variations you guys can do. So what you first need is chopped onion. Like Alexis, I don't want to cry in front of you guys. And then second, you guys will need oil. And then third, you'll need stew meat. Then fourth, you'll need tomato paste. And then fifth, you'll need your spices, which are paprika, salt, cayenne pepper, and turmeric. And then six, you'll need about four teacups of rice. So the way you first start it is, or in the, the water bottle as well. But I won't be putting the water because it will be, I'll have to take it to my car and then it'll just fall everywhere. So first you put the onions. Then you put the, the oil. And you guys will be putting this on a stove is what you'll get, you guys will be doing. And then you stir it up until the, until the Onions are golden, like brownish. Then you'll add your meat to it after it's after they're golden. Oops. You about stir that for about three minutes. Then about after three minutes, you guys will put your spices. Doesn't matter which order you put it. Then you stir that up for about a minute or so. Then you'll add your tomato paste. You want about like a fourth cup of tomato paste. And you'll stir that as well for about two minutes. Then after that's done, you add your four cups of rice. stir that with that 
Then as you stir it, you put the water in it. But I'm not going to put the water, like I said before. <coughs> My mom says you have to like stir inside as well as you put as the water's in to get the non-sticky part of it. Then you leave it on the stove after the water's done, and then you keep stirring it, and you let the water absorb, and then you let that for about 20 minutes. Then you'll see like the rice getting like kind of reddish orange. And then lo and behold, bon appetit, you got red rice. And then you'll get like stuff like So what I showed you today were the ingredients for it, and then I showed you guys the step for it, the steps for it, and then the different the ver variations were, you don't have to use stew meat, you could use chicken, pork, any kind of meat, and then you don't need to use another variation is you don't need to use tomato paste, you can use diced bell peppers or diced tomatoes, and mm, I hope you guys can enjoy some of my mom's red rice. That's all.